it is very logical to say that your personality impacts the way that you study. And if you're thinking about your studying and you're trying to figure out how to make your studying more effective, how to get closer to your goal, it makes logical sense to think more about your personality and go, what do I naturally lean more towards? And that's not necessarily going to line up with what the exams want from you. I see a huge amount of my accounting students naturally lean towards calculation and formulaic thinking. If I see this, it means that. If this, then that. If this, then that. Every time I see this calculation, I know that I fill in those numbers and I do that. It's formulaic. It always works the same way. That is how their personalities are inclined. At higher levels of studying, though, it's less about the formula and more about how do you think you should solve this particular problem that you've never seen before that may or may not have a perfectly right or wrong answer that may have some gray areas and you need to use best practices, guidelines, think about things. What's your opinion here? These are two very different ways of thinking. These are two very different styles of thinking. For someone who has a personality that's inclined towards formulaic thinking and compliance-based this, 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 it always works the same way. This type of thinking is very different and very uncomfortable. It is no surprise that you're more likely to avoid that. You don't want to be sitting thinking about what you would do in that situation and your opinion on the situation. It's uncomfortable. Just tell me what the right answer is. Many of my students tell me I lose interest and I disengage and I back off from situations. I don't want to have discussions about whether or not I think this is the right thing to do, what my opinion is here. I don't want to give you my opinion. I want to give you the right answer. Tell me what it's supposed to be. And the next time I see that problem, I will do the same thing again. That's how I want to learn, if that's my personality style. In later levels of studying, when you're studying towards a professional qualification, it's very important for you to focus on integrated thinking, applied thinking, solving problems that you've never come across before, that don't necessarily have a right or wrong answer, that you have to build and justify and go, based on this, I believe it looks like this, and they could do that, and they might do that, and there's a little bit of a possibility that, you know, that can be interpreted this way, but if they add that, and if you take that into account, it may be different. I think that. We don't want to do that. But if that's the way the exams are designed, if that's what they're looking for from you, then it makes a lot of sense that we need to back off and say, wait, is my studying impacted by my personality, by the way that I think, the way that I feel, and the way that I behave? And if so, does this align with my exams? Now, I'm not saying you need to change your personality. Your personality is just fine. But the more we understand why and how we think and feel and behave, the more we can look at these two and go, that's my goal. Although this may not be perfectly comfortable for me, it may be a skill that I need to develop. If this is what the profession requires from me, I might need to think about how to focus on developing that skill, on adding that skill to my set of skills. I can't necessarily say that I am always going to be in a world where I can just stick to what makes me feel super comfortable. But the first step is the awareness that when you sit down at your desk, one of the major things that will impact your studying, the effectiveness of your studying, is your personality. I spend a huge amount of time thinking about studying, researching, listening to, going through personality styles, why we do things, where we do, how our brain works, how different personalities work, and there is no question that I continually make connections between the success in what I'm doing in my studies and my work and how my personality works. Sometimes it's hysterical. Sometimes it's hilarious that I can see this is my personality and, hey, that's the outcome. I didn't understand why I was struggling with that. But now that I look at, you know, a categorization of this type of personality, I can, oh, yeah, 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 that's, that's me. That's me. So I spend a lot of time focusing on how we think, how we feel, and how we behave. 
and the awareness of this so that you can sit down and say, when I'm at my desk, if I had the most amazing lecture today, how do I turn that and how effectively am I turning that into my knowledge, my skills?